Hello everyone. Welcome to Just Begin, where we talk about starting a business or if we should start a business, especially while working a full-time job. And today I'd like to talk about um, being transitioning from being a struggling single mother to now being a successful business owner. And I want to talk about some of the steps that I took to change the situation of my life. And it's important for me to share this because you may be a struggle, struggling single mother as well. And you may have the dream of being a successful business owner. So let's just get right into today's topic. Okay. Number one thing you have to do is believe that that you can change your situation, okay? So I want to um, encourage you when you are going to work and you're tired, when you are balancing um, going to work and going to school conferences, okay? I want you to know that if you want to change your situation, you can, all right? And it's always helpful to read books and I would recommend that you read books about other uh, single mothers that have started successful businesses. Um, you may find inspiration in their stories and there may be some similarities there and you may be able to learn something. Also, it's good to network with other business owners that are single mothers as well and you can ask them questions and see how they transition from being a struggling single mother to a successful business owner, okay? And another thing you want to do is um, be open to learn new things, okay? I am always trying to learn something new. As you all know, I was in my previous career for 20 years and then I got into real estate. Um, and then I got into real estate investing, excuse me. And I am also doing coaching. I am a mindset coach and I am a business coach. But these things are new to me. I didn't start my business until November and um, I am just now finding uh, success. But I just want to let you know that it is possible, okay? And me, I am a woman of faith, so it's very important for me to pray, okay? So if you are a praying person, I recommend that you pray about starting a business and you will get divine guidance on how to proceed, okay? Also, many single mothers are actually working, okay? And I know that that kind of causes a conflict because you may be saying, I am currently working, uh, you know, I'm working full time. How can I just up and start a business? I have no money for that and I have no time for that. Okay, I understand and I know a lot of people who have been in this situation. What I recommend you do is create an exit plan. If you don't know what an exit plan is, I actually made a whole video about making an making an exit plan if you are not happy at your job and you want to leave your job. So I'm not going to go into everything um, that entails making an exit plan, but I will give you a brief overview. What I recommend that you do is um, set a date that you actually want to exit your job, okay, that you want to resign from your current job. Um, I would say give yourself three months. And during that three months, save money, go over your budget, and all the extras that you can cut out of your budget, like anything like entertainment, shopping, hair visits, I'm sorry ladies, nails, all of that, if you can cut that out, cut that out so that frees up some more money so you can save because that's all part of your exit plan. Um, and this way you can have money saved up so when you resign from your job, you have a little bit in your savings so you can focus on starting your business. Now, if you're wondering how much you should have saved for when you actually resign from your job, I say you should have three months of your household bills saved, I mean your checking account and your savings account, or at least have access um, on your credit card so that you can pay your monthly bills uh, while you build your business. You do not want to be bankrupt. Um, you don't want to go bankrupt because you uh, want to start a business and you don't want to ruin your credit. So um, if you already have good credit, you don't want to ruin your credit uh, you know, by um, not setting money aside when you start your business, okay? And those are just some suggestions that will, that will help you with your exit plan. And also, um, you may not want to tell everybody, I mean, all of your friends and all of your family and all of your coworkers, 
that you are getting uh, ready to resign from your job and start a business. And you have to remember some people um, have never done that and some people have never seen anybody do it. So they may not feel like it's a good idea. They may not support you and they may feel like it's irresponsible. And that's not because it is irresponsible. It's just because they've never experienced it before. And people sometimes have a hard time embracing new things or even new thought concepts. So you may want to keep your plan to yourself, but um, create an exit plan, stick to your exit plan and go ahead and start your business, okay? And that's advice to single mothers or anybody that wants to leave their job and start a business, okay? And the third thing I wanna mention is you actually want to start a business. Ooh, excuse me, okay? I'm gonna just keep going with that little bit of eyeliner right there. Okay, so you actually wanna start a business. What that means is don't just talk about starting a business, actually start a business, okay? Um, Put your ideas on paper so you actually want to name your business. You actually want to go to your Secretary of State's website and you want to register your business. Okay, that's very important. You have to have an actual business. And then you want to get um, a professional address. And I've already made videos about a professional address. So if you can go back and look at some of those videos. And then you also want to get a, a, a professional phone number so you can properly properly set up your business, okay? And it's always good to get um, a business website. Now we do know that that's optional because a lot of times when you get a business website, you do have to pay for it. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually start um, a business uh, account on Facebook and that is totally free. And you can also start a business account on Instagram and that is totally free as well. So if you wanted to refer people to those two uh, pages, that, that's kind of sort of like website, even though it's on social media, but, um, if you know if you don't have the money or before you get an actual website you can use facebook and instagram um, with your business name and refer people there okay it is also very important to find a mentor okay now if you are new to being a business owner okay you want to surround yourself with other business owners so you can uh, just gain knowledge from how they're navigating their journey of entrepreneurship. You can learn so much just by being a part of different groups about business ownership. You can learn so much just by talking to different business owners. I personally recommend that you find a mentor or actually sign up for a mentorship program. Now, uh, it's just very helpful because if you need to know the legalities of your business, a lot of times a mentorship program will tell you. I know my mentorship program did. I went to mentor. Uh, I went to a mentorship program for real estate investing and to be a life coach as well. I know I didn't mention that before in my previous videos, but yes, I have been to a mentorship program for that as well. And it's very helpful because you want to know exactly what your role is in the new business that you're starting because you want to be successful and you want to be professional, okay? And also, as you're doing these things, okay, because I know uh, I recommended that you go ahead and believe that you can change your life. I recommended that you don't be uh, afraid to leave your job. And we talked about creating an exit plan. And then we talked about actually starting a business by registering your business on the um, Secretary of State's website. Okay, and now I'm telling you all to find a mentor. Mentors are very knowledgeable and they can show you the ropes about uh, the different business that you're going to start. And you want your mentor to be very successful, okay? You don't want your mentor to be someone who has never started a business or has no um, personal experience on what you are trying to do. Uh, you, you, you don't want that. You don't need a lot of theory. You need actual uh, to talk to people who have done what you are trying to do because you want to be successful. So that is the whole point in finding a mentor. And while you do all of these things, you want to surround yourself with positive people, okay? If people are not going to be positive, if they are going to um, 
try to tell you to, to give up on your dreams or your plans of being a business owner, you do want to distance yourself from those types of people, okay? And that is part of my, my story, okay? That's part of my journey. I literally went from being a struggling single mother to a successful business owner, Okay, and I just wanted to tell you exactly how I did it. And I always want to remind you that I do have a Facebook group called Just Boss Up. It is on Facebook. It is for business owners and for future future business owners. And I would always like to see you in a group. I'm active in the group every day. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.